We are just children going to school. We want to learn to make friends to play sports, nothing more. The genius of liberty is not that it is a tool for discrimination, but a tool for just the opposite, equality. And that is why we are here today. The amount of effort that they put in to organize going to just a school board meeting to harass children, it made me fear for my safety. Like I've never feared for my safety before. My fight or flight kicked in and I was like fearing for my life. Even once I was in the meeting, like once I was safe, I still have like visions of like if someone comes in with a gun or something like that. And the craziest thing was, I don't even think that was too out of the ordinary to think about. The message I wanted to kind of send was that I'm just like any other student at that school. Nobody at my school knows that I'm trans unless I obviously tell them. So there really shouldn't be an issue regarding which bathroom I'm using. With my speech, I was really trying to convey the fact that like queer students, they're just like everybody else. And before their identity, they're human. And just like everybody else, they want to exist freely. My son goes in to tell an administrator he thinks he wants to be a girl, that school should pick up the phone and let me know as the parent, and it is my decision, not the school's, what to do about it. It is also insane that the school will let boys now go in girls' bathrooms and let boys now play on girls' sports teams. If they don't fix the issue, I will. Do a parent's bill of rights that's currently being considered in Tallahassee and legislation that would say boys cannot play on girls' sports teams. The concern that we have is, is basically this. Unfortunately, we live in a world where coming out to one's parents can be dangerous, physically dangerous. It could result in being kicked out of their home. And we wanted to make sure that legislators are alert to the dangers if they compel uh, teachers and counselors and others in the school to whom a child might have confided or who might have been outed by other students, that they not endanger the safety of a child by sharing information unless they are certain that it is in a, a home where the child is not face danger as a consequence. What we are seeing in the Florida legislature is a nationally orchestrated attack on trans youth in the form of bills that would stop trans young people from being able to compete in sports. The proponents of the bill, unfortunately, are taking our, our the public's natural inclination to be concerned with fairness and really warping it. This is not an issue of fairness in girls' sports. We live in a state that leads the nation in attacks on, on trans people and trans women of color in particular, and the legislature could not carve out even a moment so far to hear a hate crimes bill that would provide protections for the trans community. In terms of addressing an actual problem where um, people's safety and lives are, are being lost, the legislature has shown no concern. 
Why am I anything different to lawmakers and to coaches and to teachers and adults in our country? My transgender brothers and sisters, we go through so much already. What they're doing is using queer students, specifically trans students, as a pawn to further their agenda in this culture war because they're mad that they lost their election. Images from Brevard of children and their and their parents having to walk a gauntlet of hate with people spewing all kinds of ugly rhetoric, calling children pedophiles. I mean, that is the atmosphere that is created when you target young people the way this this legislation does to everyone. You have you have an opportunity to stand either with that mob taunting those kids and their families, or standing up to that mob and saying, "We're not going to let you turn." our young people into political chess pieces. We are just as strong as the opposition.